2020 was the first time in my life like I get to think of something outside of golf. I just don't want this year to look like last year, you know. I just want that opportunity, you know. It's kind of tough not getting into like the competitive and you got to stay home, work from home, doing everything at home. And that's me right there. I'll be officially Central Highlands Golf Club ambassador. These Monday qualifiers are just brutal. It just sucks. There's just no reward for it. Um, but yeah, really missing the Asian tour a lot. Hi, I'm Rory He, and this is the final episode of My Life on Tour. Hi everyone, I'm back again. I'm Charlie Suanalat. Hey guys, welcome to the final episode of My Life on Tour. Hey everyone, uh, so I'm just getting ready to leave for the Dunhill Links, um, to leave for Scotland in a couple of hours. Super excited to get over there. Um, game leading up to now has been pretty good, I feel like, playing pretty well day in, day out. Um, although I haven't been able to, I guess, get my reps in with some like cold, windy, rainy conditions. The weather's been pretty perfect in Chicago for a while, so. Yeah, super excited to get over there and I'll uh, do as many videos as I can for you guys and give you a, I guess, life life on, on tour. You ready for this? Cannot wait. Look where we are. We're at the home of golf. Where it all started. Unbelievable. I've been playing the last three days in like 40 kilometer hour winds. And the day that I'm not playing, there's hardly any wind at all. Unreal. We're at 18 Carnusley. Trav says he's got no issue getting over the Johnny Miller trap. Just to give you some view here. He's got 9 iron. He said no problem. <laughs> if, I had to put huh? it where, if I had to put it where you huh? first put it, I would have got over. You, you want another go at this, huh? Come on, keep the, go. Come on, we'll keep the camera rolling here. Oh, I got it over. Is it enough to carry the burn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a good news. So we're gonna be back playing again. Yo, last practice round in Bangkok. Not Bangkok, huh? Near, near Bangkok. <laughs> Prepared to sandbox tournament. <laughs> so I'm in the kitchen. My mom just packed the stuff for me to like a snack. A lot of this <laughs> is for one month. Hey everyone, so here I am in the Phuket and I'm in the hotel. Sorry about my feet. <laughs> I just done the second tournament and the first one went well. I finished third, tied for third and I'm playing, playing solid week and my t-shirt is not that good but my iron and my shipping is really well, and so it's made me finish third. But the second tournament is not really good. I, we faced a, a lot of rain and a lot of wind, and I play not really good. Started 400, but I finished rather equal par, so it's not so good, but it's okay. I take this week off and waiting to play next week in Ottenan Golf Tour at Laguna Golf Course and I'm looking forward to it.
yeah, even though I didn't play good and the weather was awful, it was still like when I look back and when I got out of the rain and the wind every day and I look back on the day, um, it's pretty special. It's a pretty cool event, you know. Courses are amazing. Everyone's in a great mood. Rain, hail or shine, I don't know how people from the UK somehow just have a good attitude when the weather's horrendous. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was great. The golf courses were amazing. I think Carnoustie's in my, if not the best course I've played ever, you know, I rank it as one or two. It's up there. It, it was amazing. It's been a flat year, to be honest. Like, without tournaments, it's going to be a flat year. You know, those pro-ams that I play with, with different people, I feel like I can have good <laughs> memories from those things. I guess that's the spirit of the game. Like, like you know, to have people who are, like, that eager to, like, learn I was hitting balls at night, and then uh, uh, this guy was hitting balls behind me. I can, I guess he was like, "Wow, like he hit it really, he hit it really well." And um, are you like a, a pro? And he sort of googled me, and he was like, "Oh, well, like, can I get, can you get you to sign something?" I'm like, sure, like whatever. He was like, "Yeah, I want you to sign my golf bag." <laughs> like, are you sure? Like, it's gonna be ruined forever. My goal in 2021 was get to the top 300 in the world ranking. And that was the plan all along. And now the COVID just hit and then we have to stop. I have to spend less money in a month. I eat a lot. So <laughs> everything is on my mom and dad. So they take care of me more than they should because before I have income and I help them, I can help them a lot, but now I can't help them. It's a pretty uh, cutthroat career path to go because you really have no safety net. Uh, there's no pension checks, there's no anything. If I could summarize life on tour, there's so many amazing things to being a golf professional, um, but it, it definitely humbles you. It, it, there's usually more downs than there are ups, unfortunately. and. You've got to be pretty mentally strong to, I guess, push that aside and keep looking forward and, and I guess, staying positive, working hard. Uh, so it's, it's not all luxurious at all. But it is fun and I've signed up to it and I love it. So I might get down and shitty uh, after poor results or bad days, but it doesn't take me long to bounce back and look forward to the next, the next tournament or the next adventure. For me, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm ever going to retire just because I'm that kind of person who's been around golf for such a long time and it's part of my life. You know, I just don't see how doing anything else is going to make me as happy as winning a golf tournament. Like winning a golf tournament makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I don't feel like if I'm successful at anything else, I don't think I'll ever have that feeling. So it's more of a self-fulfilling thing than a monetary issue, I guess. And as you probably all heard, uh, Asian Tour is starting back up in Phuket in November and uh, cannot wait to get started. I'm in Chicago at the moment, it's freezing cold. Cannot wait to get some heat, competitive, um, juices flowing again and seeing everyone. Hey guys, I am here back at Central Highlands Golf Club, getting ready for Phuket. And you know, this place has a, a lot of um, that island feel to it. Oh, hopefully that cloud is not too menacing. I mean, it'd be nice to play without rain at some point. Asian Tour have a new partnership, which is the Saudi Golf. So it's really a fantastic new, and I'm looking forward to it. Playing the new part of the world, can't wait. So I'm gonna be prepared for it. Um, so I'm currently 18 from the Order of Merit. Uh, I think with a good couple of weeks in Thailand and then if there's more events in January, um, if I just play solid, I think I'll make that top 30. If you're in the top 30, you get to play the Saudi International. 
which is a $5 million event um, with, you know, big name players playing. So it's a really good um, carrot for playing well. My goal for 2022 is I'm, I feel really confident that I can keep the car. And my goal is I want to finish top 15. I want to get to the top 200 in the world ranking. Because, I mean, if if I be able to play an Asian tour, I think the world rank is going to be a lot more than all Thailand if I finish like top five, top 10. Right now, in the next, uh, what, month, two months, my goal is to be inside the top 30 on the Asian tour so I can play that Saudi international. I think that's a good and realistic goal um, and to win one of the next three, four events. So the two in Thailand and the two potentially one or two events in Singapore. Just want to thank everyone that's been uh, involved with, with the tour to be able to put things together for us. You know, I just want to thank my parents, my sisters, uh, my family who's been supporting me this um, whole time, um, you know, emotionally uh, cheering me on to, to continue to pursue my career path. And uh, also my friends who's been there um, you know, who's played golf with me during this time. And my sponsors to UC1000, Sinso Highlands, like without them, I wouldn't be able to prepare in the best way possible for the Asian Tour events to come. So thank you everyone, Coffin Cup. Thank you for watching me, listening to me. Again, stay safe. I have to say it again and again. So please stay safe and stay strong. I hope, I hope everyone can enjoy the normal life again soon, soon enough. I hope so. Thank you. I, I wish I could have played better and had some more exciting finishes, but it's tough over here in the US. You have to be playing really good and you have to have seven or eight under in the bag on demand, I don't know, four or five times a year to make a name for yourself. So uh, unfortunately I didn't and I'm looking forward to coming back to Asia. If you've been following these things and you see me out there, I'm, I'm in your hometown or on your home golf course, please come and say hello. I'd love to have a chat, get to meet you. Until then, I don't know, keep playing golf, keep enjoying it, keep watching these videos, keep following the Asian tour, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. I don't really know what's gonna define success and what's not. I guess if you keep going, that's successful, because if you give up, that's not. I'm Travis Smythe, and that is my life on tour. I'm Rory He, and that is my life on tour. Thank you, Kong Cup.